Okay, so this is the big big green CRT manager, uh, retro game manager that I created. <laughs> it's based on a launch box, and uh, it's pretty much a way to screw your your games, check some some uh, posters and uh, cartridges, images or whatever and have it launched. So let me select Quake here because I know Quake work, works pretty well with the video capture device. So it's going to show a black screen because of the video capture, not of the application. So it's going to close up and start Quake. And when I click Quake, it's going to go back to the program. But the nice thing about this is that the program doesn't stay open. It closes, it shows a small launch animation, closes, and creates, creates a small uh, process that's going to handle the launching of the game. So there is nothing in the background taking memory and CPU and GPU. So it's pretty handy. So we just have the... Let me close the pro program and show how to start up. This is the closing animation. So, the first thing, let me start from zero here. The first thing you're going to do, you have the files here, you're going to check the manual because it's always good to read the manual. Please do because there is important information in there. But then you go to resource, configuration, and here I'm going to put the path for the launch box application because it relies on the launch box database in case you don't know what launch box is just check the video description and the manual has a link for it and it's it's a manager for your all your games and emulations and whatever but i don't like to leave it it uh, running on the background because it takes a lot of memory so i created my own small manager to handle that. So you just put the launch box folder in there and you are good to go. The first time you, you are going to start up, it's going to show processing because it's going to load all the launch box information and create a cached uh, file instead, which is shorter and faster to, to read. So let's start up. The video capture cuts a bit of the initial fading animation, but it's just the computer fading from, from black, nothing fancy. Then it shows the un un unregistered copy, <laughs> which you can bypass by pressing enter. Uh, just have to wait at least one second to press enter, then it is going to bypass the, the, uh, the wiring. <laughs> and I can go here, let's say I'm going to get GameCube, Let's check, uh, let's say, Luigi's Mansion. You can see that it loads the image. It's a low, low the image details. Uh, title details, actually. But it caches the file too, so the next time it's, it goes much faster. And you can change where it look for the images in the configuration file. It's uh, at the very bottom. Let's start up Luigi's Mansion here. We load up uh, the Delphin, Dolphin, sorry, emulation. And if I close it, it goes back. Go back to the to the list. Doesn't seem to have. Uh, let me quit the application. Maybe didn't create the cached file. No, they are they are all here. Let me try again. I'm going to hold Shift, and that's going to bypass the inter animation. Just hold Shift, and, and it uh, doesn't show the animation. And if I press uh, Enter while the launching animation happens also bypass that. So it close up and loads Nintendo. Dolphin. We close Dolphin. Let me put my 
my mouse over golfing because it's not catching the. Oh, now it, now it worked correctly. I don't know. It should processing before. Maybe some, some of the files were not saved. Anyway, it's working. Let's go back to Quake. And it closes and go back. When you go back, you don't have to press enter again to the register message. Just you just have to do that one time when you initialize the program for the first time. You can also cache all the images by using the cache option. Just go ask ask until you see the quit and cache options and select the cache. It's going to create a cache image for all the titles so it loads much faster especially if I have a lot of titles to hold the keys it's going to screw up and down home end and page up and page down also works and uh, let's take take a look at the files I closed my window here let me check again so let's take a look at the configuration file again and here near the bottom end you can see the pictures folder and if you take a look at how launchbox handles the images you can uh, mess around with this folder structure but uh, this should be the good structure to start up and uh, there, everything else is very self-explanatory here in the file just be sure not to add any lines to the file because my code looks for the lines in a fixed way so don't remove or add any, any lines just that that you have to worry about and uh, well I think that's pretty much it there's not much else to look uh, if you change something in the launch box I'm going to hold shift and bypass the, the initial animation if you change something in Launchbox, it's going to redo the cache when you start up again, so it's going to show processing again. And apart from that, uh, everything should work. You can see that it's like it tries to look for the title details the first time it is show. Uh, I try to load, but then if I load again, it's it's instantaneous because it reads from a cache file. And all my files here, because I have a lot of files installed here, take 60 meg of space for the images, the cached green images. So it's not a big deal. Works pretty well. And uh, I think that's it. Not much else to, to show. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the program. So, thanks for watching.